Let's talk about Newton's laws of motion. All right, and we're gonna specifically focus on Newton's second law of motion. So Newton's laws of motion, the first of Newton's laws of motion is an object in motion is uniform until acted on by a force. Newton's second law is what we're going to be looking at. That's acceleration of an object is directly proportional to mass and force, which is F equals M times A. It's like a two. So force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's third law is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Galileo climbed to the top of the Leaning Tower of Pisa and dropped two objects at the same time of different masses to see if they would hit the ground at the same time. Now, obviously, I'm not up as high as the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but I do have a big old rock and a little rock. This rock has more mass than this rock. This is actually pretty light. It's a lava rock. So we're gonna drop them at the same time and see which one hits the ground first. They hit at the same time. Let's try it again. Big rock, small rock. They hit the ground at the same time. The little rock that I had weighed about as much as this piece of paper. This big old rock is still heavy. Now, if that little rock and this piece of paper weigh the same, then if I drop this big rock and this piece of paper, they should hit the ground at the same time. Let's try it. What the heck is happening here? Why didn't the paper hit the ground at the same time as the rock, just like the small pebble did? Something must be wrong. Let's try another small pebble. Pretty light, maybe a little bit more than the paper. Let's see what happens. What the heck? There must be something else acting upon this to make it fall slower than that. And that's air. So how do we fix it? This paper is still gonna weigh the same when I crumble it up. But the air is not acting upon the paper anymore. So they hit the ground at the same time. Objects in a vacuum, no air, will hit the ground at the same time. In fact, astronauts did this on the moon with a feather and a rock or a ball. It's an eagle feather, I think. Maybe a falcon. I don't know, Google it. In your life, you can break as many laws as you want. You'll have to suffer the consequences of them. It's kind of hard to break Newton's laws, though. <laughs>